good team exclusive welcome back to the most unrealistic career mode on youtube of course this is our plymouth argyle career mode um if you've been watching the past couple of episodes you'll know obviously what kind of controller doesn't work again you'll know uh what kind of players obviously we've signed uh you'll kind of know what what the whole premise of this career mode is it's basically anything goes um we've got icons we've got pretty much it we've got eddie niketia who, who doesn't love Eddie Nketi? Obviously, this is the main squad that we've got for the team. Again, like I said in the previous episodes, I do want to keep part of the, uh, you know, the uh, um, Argyle players in there. I don't want it all just to be icons, even though about 80% of it is icons currently. But, you know, it is what it is. Either way, got Sammy Eto up top, got David Beckham, Kaka, Ronaldinho, big boy Hullet, Carlos Alberto, Fernandinho. We've got uh, uh, this dude... Um, got Opaku, Opaku um, at left back. He's pretty decent, to be fair, even though his stats don't really reflect it. Obviously, against the AIs, he's, he's okay. He's also got more as well. And uh, Eddie Nketi on the bench as a kind of replacement. We've also got this, hopefully, upcoming talent, five-star, five-star, uh, Leo Nash, who is so far actually quite promising. It's actually very, very good. 59 rated. His stats do not reflect a 59 rated player at all. 71 70 59 64 35 50, 63 like you know that that's pretty decent and he's only what like 17 that's pretty good so we've actually got a very good squad we've got a very good squad uh that's our main squad anyway we do have a uh, obviously rotational squad that i've set up uh which is just some players that we probably wouldn't really use unless we uh have to so that's our that's our rotational team which is a uh, pretty tragic we'll see what happens we'll see what happens uh, besides that it's pretty much everything that's going on. obviously like i mentioned in the last episode this or well, the future episodes are probably going to be just us trying to work through league one uh once we get past league one championship should be well i mean league one should be fairly fairly simple with the team we've got and then uh championship should hopefully be hopefully be quite simple as well um all I've noticed is everyone has like a 5-3-2 like formation like it, it no one can attack they all just defend um so we're gonna play a few of these obviously we're playing on legendary we see how it goes if we are winning if we are winning 3-0 I'll just sim the rest of the match and uh go from there because yeah, a 3-0 you shouldn't lose a 3-0 lead hopefully it is Plymouth at the end of the day so it is Plymouth but yeah, should be okay. All right, so um, yeah, first game against Wimbledon. Um, like I said, I don't know how many of these we're going to play. Um, I mean, actually, like, play, play, because if we just win comfortably, I can't really see a whole lot of point of doing it, but we might do anyway. I don't know, because if I sim it, we're risking losing it. Um, that is also the point problem as well. But we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. No, I just got done there. Oh my god, the AI just fully did me with a fake shot. That's gross. Come on, Eto, win that. He is tall. He is not very tall at all. We're being rinsed right now. Oh, mistakes. Beckham. Go on, Beckham. He's away. Even Beckham has the pace. Finesse. Goal. Let's go. Easy. I still keep trying to do my goggle celebration. Anyway, David Beckham makes it one easy as you like it's gonna it's probably going to be the theme of um this entire campaign is literally just wait for them to make, make a mistake take the ball and then counter attack <laughs> literally the motto of fifa 21 it's just counter attack with your pacey players fuck you ah uh, oh great steal no way this ref is a joker man absolute joker he's literally he, he probably he just hates Plymouth Argyle. That's what it is. He loves Wimbledon. He probably lives there. Don't know who that Wimbledon player is, but he's fucking keeping up with Kaka. Which is actually a joke. Go on. Eto. What? Fair enough. Well, we've got another corner anyway. Got those Wimbledon fans. About to be disappointed. Oh, wait. Look at all those Wimbledon fans. They're about to be disappointed. Who's that? Oh, it's Rio Ferdinand. Beckham! Oh my god. 
No way, that was one hell of a shot. Wow. Now we break on the counter-attack. Eto. Oh, Eto's done ya! Was that a save or did he just miss? He missed! Fantastic. Fantastic. I love this game. So far, it's actually it's actually not a bad game. It's actually quite an interesting game. We've had a, we definitely had the better of the chances. Just haven't been able to score them. Um, haven't got that man involved yet. Ronaldinho haven't got, got involved. I guess uh, maybe I overestimated the power of this team. Um, because I thought it'd be quite a comfortable win. But it's actually not. It's actually, um, it's actually quite close. It's a bit, it's a bit unnerving. Let's go. Beckham's through. Finesse shot. Bang! Let's go. David Beckham. That I mean, you just watch that ball go at like 0.004 miles per hour. And it just goes in the back of the net. You love to see it. Let's go. Let's go. What a goal. I know I'm celebrating against like four rated players. But it is what it is. It is what it is. That was a great challenge by Hullet. Little dink off pass from Eto. Then Beckham just... The goalkeeper was too far on the left. Too far on the left, and that's where you made your clinical, fatal mistake. Oh, Ronaldinho's done ya. Never mind. Never mind. Bang. To Kamada, to Beckham, to Ronaldinho, to Eto. It's wonderful football. It is sensational football right now. Incredible little pass by uh, Ronaldinho, and um, Eto makes the finish. You love to see it and that's where Plymouth Argyle is dominant just just better just better in every single way flick up Ooh. yo that would have been a spicy little goal he looks good in the Plymouth Argyle shirt I ain't gonna lie that was like, wow that was one of the like fizzing just just anti-gravity kind of shots where it just like flies across the top of the crowd <laughs> that's insane Okay, right, I'm just taking long shots right now. There's not a whole lot of point. Um, so we're just going to bring on Eddie Nketiah. Going to bring on Leo Nash for the Kaka. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all we really need, to be fair. Just need to uh, get some experience on the um, on the younger side of the team. I think my manager just had a seizure then. Anyway, Sammy Eto comes off. He's done a lot, to be fair. Got a goal. Big boy Hullet. Bang. Wait. Who is, is that Nash? Let's go. Was that Leo Nash? It was. Let's go. Leo Nash actually just bangs it in the back of the net. You love to see it. You do love to see that. It's literally just came on the pitch. Oh, Inketia, stop it. Ronaldinho. Leo Nash to Inketia. Finesse goal. My God. Like, it just it's just incredible scenes right now just incredible scenes the super subs of dreams both uh, Eddie and Leo Nash oh he's stolen it he's absolutely done yet and he's going to bang it from range not a foul no way wow he actually got a second like AI is just doing AI things where it just you just can't get the ball off him but it is what it is you know it's 5-2 in the day they can score as many as they want and they're still going to lose good job ref good job on the attack blows the whistle you love to see it and there we go so i thought i might as well finish playing the game anyway um we we're winning comfortably so really really was insignificant but uh yeah what a game 5-2 absolutely smash it it did uh, it did kind of i wanted to use it as a bit of a test because um kind of shows how good or bad the ais were not sure why i watched that why am i anyway um yeah shows how Good or bad the AIs are, so uh, if I needed to, could have just, um, you know, sim it, skip it. But it's actually quite a close game. It's actually quite a close close game, considering we did eventually win 5-2. Uh, AIs were a little bit dangerous, so... What was it? Ronaldinho, what do you have to say? I'd like to say I really appreciate the chance to play while I'm in good form. I know people have been talking about the position you're playing me in. I wanted to say I'm ready to do whatever's necessary to make us successful. I have to play as a left winger if that's part of your plan. No. I mean, the, the, you're a cam. I've got a formation that's got cams. Why would I need a left winger? Why would you want to... No. Cool. 
Well, I mean, he's probably going to be sacked off in the next transfer window. <laughs> so it is what it is. It is what it is. Development for... I'm just trying to remember what I did for a lot of these players. So really need to like change them into like CDMs would be good. Can I actually do that? How long would it take? 46? Like, what's the difference between a CM and a CDM? If I put him as a CDM anyway and get him, get him changing over there. Um, box to box. I mean, his defense is already quite good. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get him changed over a CDM. That's not bad. Kavan, centre back. I mean, he's not going to play. So, value 3, 350. Sure. That's absolutely fine. If we can get 350 for him, obviously it'll be about 300 or something. Um, but it's not bad, to be fair. What we're saying, big boy Eddie gets whatever he wants. I've been playing pretty well lately and feeling really good. Hope that means I won't just be on the bench for the game against Blackpool. Uh, he's, he's obviously going to start in the team. He's asked to start in the team. So he starts. Eddie gets whatever Eddie wants. That's basically it. Anyway, yeah, so that's that's the team. Only changes are Mayor or Mayor. Uh, he, he, yeah, just he's a constant Mayor. Um, and we got big boy Eddie Niketia up top against very similar team in Blackpool. Don't know any of these players. Um, Woodburn, Madine, don't know. But either way, we'll see how things go. If we can... Uh, Pull out another win. That would be sensational. Off to Mayer. Can he get a good ball in? Back to the back stick for Eddie Nketiah. Let's go. Big boy Eddie Nketiah gets the first goal. Oh, my God. It's been coming, to be fair. It's been absolutely coming. Um, Just been, you know, been patiently defending against uh, this fucking team. My God. Okay. Pull it. Watch this from Beckham. Yo, that was an effort. I ain't gonna lie. That was an effort. That was like classic David Beckham. Just get it on a weird place and just finesse it. I don't think it was actually going in. It may have been. It may have just creeped in. But who knows. Great job, Bullet. Let's go. See Eddie making that run. Oh, he's got the pace as well. Bang. That was disgusting. Oh my fucking god. This ref is actually a Wimbledon fan. It's atrocious this is. It's actually atrocious. I mean, I got the ball because the ball went back to my keeper. I'm just saying. Got the ball first. So, whatever. Whatever. I, ha I hate taking uh, having penalties against the AI because they take it immediately as soon as the penalty loads. And uh, you've got no time to even, like, think about where he's going. Ugh, it's awful. Fine, fine, whatever. AI beats Rio Ferdinand to the ball, obviously. I can see how this is going to go. What a joke, man. What an absolute joke of a game. Like, just AIs coming in big with their fucking AI tactics. Uh, it's disgusting. Disgusting. It's just, I just don't know what you're meant to do, really, to be honest. Like they, they just, they purposely make it so difficult you can't take the ball off them. And then they just, uh, they just, you know, score some absolute garbage. So, I'm probably just going to sim this game. I'm going to probably lose it. Um, we're going to have our, are we? Fuck, I'll just use my best team. Screw it. We'll just win this game. A two one. Let's go. Big ups, Plymouth. Big ups, Plymouth. EFL Cup. Didn't actually get to see any of that, so uh, <laughs> no idea. I've been sat here doing this for about ten minutes, and all they've done is they've gone four point five transfer sum. Right, obviously you can see it down there. They've gone four point five, four point six, four point seven. Every time I've tried to like like negotiate it, it's just. They just don't seem to like... And then they've gone up to like 5.3. It's like, I've been offering 4 mil for the past 10 fucking minutes. You'd have thought the, the thought would have like, you know, gone into the 
gone into the noggin at this point, but like, ugh, I don't know. They're just not going to accept it. And now it's, five, it's even more. They have five point four mil. Like, where are you getting this fucking ludicrous sum from? I, see, what I find funny is he says. I'm sorry, but I've made it clear that Max Aaron's price is non-negotiable yet. We've been sat here for 10 fucking minutes negotiating 4.6, 4.5, 4.7, 4.8, 5.3. Like, this guy just is actually just a special. He's actually just special. Um, My God. And he'll say, ooh, it's non-negotiable, but it's 4.6 million guaranteed. Surprised he hadn't just left at this point. Surprised he hadn't just left at this point. It, it's not going to happen, big man. It's not going to happen. Just leave already. Just leave. Fuck it. I'm done with this shit. Right. So, I do not want to be sat here any longer. Any longer with this absolute brain dead human being. So, one pound. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. One quid. One solid pound coin. What are you saying? <laughs> well there we go so we'll be back to try and sign max Aaron's when we uh when we can at least we know what they kind of really want in in the way of like a transfer sum but yeah just not to uh, not something i can do currently either way do have a new signing of uh bacunia it's always quite nice get him off there we'll be saying for right back so yeah he'll do you do pretty well there to be fair you'll do pretty okay a good little backup right back CDM wherever we need him. It's quite a good signing to be honest. We already knew about that one. Marquinhos going to Bayern, 96 mil. Got uh, Jesus Navas going to um, not Jesus. We've got uh, Gabriel Jesus going from City to PSG. Interesting one. Pogba from Man United to Real Madrid. Guerrero from Dortmund to Chelsea. Guedes to uh, Juventus. Mukiele to Dortmund. Or a Vireld to uh, Manchester United. A towel to Hertha Berlin. Dembele to Roma. Shaw to Leicester. That's an interesting one. PK to Man City. Going back to the opposite Manchester club. You do love to see the controversy. Belotti to Leipzig. Serbi to Leverkusen. Roberto to Liverpool. It's an interesting signing. Grealish to Arsenal. So, yeah, some good uh, Rudiger to Leicester. Leicester is buying every every single Premier League player they can ever find so you do love to see it we're going to play the probably going to be our final game of today um, and yeah hopefully next next episode we can finish off the transfer window hopefully sign maybe some um, uh, I would say some players but really just want Max Aaron's it's kind of the only player I want right now this guy this guy's trash man shit Great challenge though by Kamara. Going to take it off down the field. Give off to Bex, who's going to cut inside. That was tragic. Hopefully, that was the deflection. Wow. No. Second attempt. Nice. It's through. Eto. Finish it. Let's go. Easy as you like. We should definitely be winning these games, especially with the team we've got. We have to be winning uh, games against League One opposition. If we're not, it's really going to make a struggle in uh, in the championship. So, Beckham. Easy. Kamara from there. Let's go. Big boy Kamara. You do love to see it. What a strike that was as well. Let's bring on Lolos. Uh, because he said he wanted a chance. So, why not? We'll see how good he is. If he's trash, then I'll just fucking bin him off. Oh, Ronaldinho. Straight through to Bex. Bang. There we go. Game over. I'm trying to get um trying to get that Lolos involved. Um trying to see how good he is, but he literally just doesn't make a run. He just stands on the pitch and just does absolutely fuck all. So <laughs> literally don't know at this point. Oh, he's through. He's through. Can he bang it? He does bang it. Okay. Maybe this Lolos guy, he's on like zero sharpness as well. So maybe he's actually quite decent. Maybe he's quite decent. He's only like 55 rated, but he actually might be okay. Bang. Ronaldinho. There we go. Gate. Well, now it's game over. But, uh, yeah. Ronaldinho finally scores. He hasn't, he hasn't scored many for the club, to be fair. It's very tricky to, uh, to kind of get him in, in behind, really. Um, but there we are. Yeah. 5-0. Easy as you like. I mean, I wasn't really 
pay much attention because I don't actually think we're going to score, but uh, actually might concede now. Never mind, it's fine. One more chance. No, Eddie Nketi would have made that. Eddie Nketi would have made that. Trash. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there we go. So 5-1, easy as you like. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some of the AOs I was just like, just being a bit too passive with. But, uh, yeah, just through ball it and just hope for the best seems to work quite well. But, uh, yeah, 5-1, pretty convincing win. So far, it's it's proving to be fairly simple, not, uh, not overly too difficult. We are currently third. to accept that happy to there's another 750 in the bank if we can get rid of mayor as well it's a bit of a he's a bit of a needy needy bastard so we'll uh we'll just get rid of him i don't really want to sim games but i'm just going to sim this one it's probably quite an easy dub uh if it isn't then i'll be very very surprised three nil as you like i mean we had our best team so yeah carlito alberto getting a yellow and then getting a goal how do i go back up hello Oh, never mind. We can't see it, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, 3-1, three, three, one, three nil. I, don't, I can't remember. 3-0. You do love to see it. And that knocks up. Still in third. So, Akriton, I really need Akriton to lose or draw and then for us to win. Um, which will happen in the near future. So, okay, yeah. So, to finish off today's episode, I was just having a look at some um, players that could be quite good. I was just listing loads of players into the short... Uh, the transfer shortlist um <clears throat> just a lot of like right back potential so i mean like i don't obviously i'm scouting them, so i don't know how much they are at the moment but i can't imagine there'd be too much i'm looking for like youngsters that could have some potential um like this guy from sporting portugal got a lot of potential three star three star he, he's quite young so i can't imagine it'd be too much but then again if he does have like a high potential he might be Quite expensive. Uh, some Japanese league players. Just players from all over the place, really. This guy's got quite good potential, apparently. So, going to keep hold of him. And, uh, keep uh, have, an, have an eye on him anyway. See what he's about. Um, so, some right backs. Just play from everywhere, really. England, Dutch league, Belgium league. Um, obviously, that could be a quite good one. Because he plays in both positions. So, yeah. I'll see what he, he comes out as. He, he could be one to go for, to be honest. He, he actually be a really good player. Um... A lot of the Premier League ones, I just don't think are worth it because they're just going to be so expensive. Um, they always just seem to be. He could be quite good. Right back, right wing back. Spanish, oh, French League, sorry. Pem Pembele. Um, yeah, I, it's not too realistic because I think PSG would be quite expensive as well. I put this guy on there because he, I just thought his name was quite funny, Suzuki. Uh, just have a Suzuki at Cam. be quite nice. Um, but yeah, besides that, it's pretty much... Um, Pretty much the same as uh, in Dicker as well. Same. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that'll, that'll do it for today's episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Um, I do like doing the career mode because it's always something different. It's a bit more chill. It's a bit more fun. Uh, especially with playing with all these icons and everything. It's it's really good fun. Uh, even though it is against the AI, which is intolerable. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you are enjoying the series as well. Definitely more to come. Hopefully try and get these out at least, at least once a week, if not twice a week. But uh, yeah, good good stuff either way hopefully you have enjoyed if you have of course please do drop it a like that'd be very very much appreciated if you want to see more of this content and you haven't already please do consider that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family but with that said i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and as always we'll see you next time